Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie. Today we're gonna dive in the brand new annual catalog from Stamping Up. This starts May 2024 all the way to April 2025. We're gonna go through this catalog and I'm gonna show you what I got with my starter box. And we're gonna go through all of the goodness that's inside. But you know what? I have to tell you that when you go online, there's even more good stuff. Just letting you know. Here you have some kits and we get to the first kit. I did get this kit. This paper pumpkin kit is a card making kit. It is a subscription. Here in Canada, it's $34.75 per month. It includes shipping. And let's dive into this box. I can't wait to see what's inside this box. I'm very intrigued by it. So let's open this up. It's like Christmas, right? Let's open this up and, ooh, what do we have here? So we have a little ink spot that is pebble. So that is good because I don't think I have that color. And then here we have some good old acrylic stamps or polymer stamp, I should say. And these are perfect size. And I love the hello, the wish, all the best. Love all of that. We have here our little welcome card for this subscription. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, so, so pretty. Oh my gosh. Let's take these out. Okay, this little tissue paper is a really nice touch, guys. All right, let's move this out of the way. I get excited over paper, can you tell? <laughs> All right, let's take a look. So this is a monthly subscription. And you have, ooh, tape, double-sided tape, some really pretty embellishment with some dimensional foam. That's good. Oh, and look at these envelopes. They're already dressed up, ready to go. Isn't that fun? And then you have... Oh, these are all pre-printed. So you have pre-printed cards. So this is quick and easy, definitely. So one, two, three. You have a spot to put a sentiment. And then you have another three. One, two, three. I love the background of these. And more spots to stamp your sentiment on there. And another three. So that brings us to nine cards so far. And this one here, oh, these would probably go on top. I haven't looked at the design. We're looking at this together for the first time. And look at these. You have some pre, they're like little die cuts. These are super adorable. Adorable, I have to say. And what else do we have here? Oh, we have the full instructions. Look at that. So you've got one, two, three, four card designs. You have all of the materials and you even have a cute little ruler to help you get started. How fun is that? I think that that's really, really fun. So I'm pretty excited about that. I think that these will be a lot of fun to put together. And if you want to have quick and easy cards that come to you in a subscription, let me know. I'll hook you up because I think these are a lot of fun. Okay, well, that was the first thing I got. Wasn't that a blast? <laughs> super fun, super fun. You can see here that I'm flipping through very quickly. I'm not doing a full catalog walkthrough because I don't think I'm qualified just yet. I'm just brand new to Stamping Up and I'm just looking at all of the goodies that they have. Now, this is interesting here. So you've got some card designs and you know what? I can totally see these translated into scrapbooking pages. So stay tuned for that. I think that these are really cute. I like that they have all of the options here, but let's face it, we're gonna try and use what we have here and do scrapbook layouts. 
just going quickly here. So they do have pocket cards that you can do some scrapbooking, very minimal at this time, but stay tuned because I know that we will be surprised with what they come up with. Now this paper here, I do not have, but it is on my wish list. It is absolutely gorgeous. And this is going to be a scrapbook layout for sure. Let's keep going here. This one here reminds me of Isabella and Isabella was a close to my heart paper. And this one here is just more rich and the colors are nice and deep. I do like that quite a bit. A lot of my CTMH maker friends did get this one here. I did not, but I can see why it is absolutely gorgeous. To the market. That would be interesting to make scrapbook pages with that. We'll see. And you know me and flowers. I love flowers and there's lots of flowers in this catalog. Now this here, super cute. I love the pop of color. Now these here, the pattern paper is a six by six pattern paper, but you know what? I think this can be turned into a scrapbook workshop for sure again on my wish list and here we've got little ducks and ponds what else do we have here okay this is to die for i cannot wait to add this to my cart this looks like a piece of art and i will be making a card workshop with this i do both i do scrapbooking and i do card making so i can't wait to use different products I've been using the same products now for two decades, and this is fun. This is a lot of fun. I'm embracing all of the things, and I'm going to share them with you. We've got a couple of embossing machine here. We have a stamp, and it comes with layered stencils, so I think that that's going to be a lot of fun. I did notice here very quickly that you have your stamp and then you can either purchase the die or a punch. So if you don't have a die cutting machine and you'd prefer to stick to a punch, that's an option. I think that's really brilliant. That's really, really nice of them to offer that. This one here, I totally see birthday cards or birthday layouts. I love, 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 love this. Again, it's going in my cart. <laughs> butterflies. Who doesn't love butterflies? And these here are dies. Look at the intricacy of them. I really, really like the way that these look. And these here, these really nice circles, they have stitching, they have details, and they all nestle into one another. So there's 12 dies in this set right here. So I think that's going to make an appearance in my cart. <laughs> I know that a lot of my maker friends picked up this set right here and I can't wait to see what they do with this. A lot of them have a few trips that they want to document and I think that that is going to be fabulous. So right here, Encore, my understanding is that these were stamps and dies that were in the previous catalog and they've moved to this catalog for this year. So it's nice to know that there's longevity for some of these because let's face it, they're not cheap and we can't buy them all in one year. But the fact that they're there the second year round, that's encouraging to me. This stamp set right here with the dies for Christmas is really, really pretty. So again, here, if I show you these here, I pointed out that this was Encore, which means that they were from last year. And I picked up, I haven't picked up the stamp set yet, but I did pick up the die for these leaves because I do like fall quite a bit. So let's get into, this is how the die sets come. So that's a, a nice packaging, definitely like that pull that out and look at all of them. So these are them right here and I'm definitely going to look at creating something really pretty for the fall with them. I do like that. So let's bring in 
my current storage that I have. Let's see, do they fit in here? I'm not sure. Oh, they don't, they do not fit, but in a pinch, let's see, in a pinch, oh, they would fit this way. So you know what, if you can sacrifice one of your bins, this way here is just a little shy, but if you plan on collecting some of these dies, they come in a really nice sturdy envelope and they do fit in the close to my heart cases. So that's good to know because like you, I've invested quite a bit in close to my heart products. And I think they're gonna play really, really nicely with all of the new Stamping Up products. And I'm just going through the catalog very quickly here with you because I'm trying to get to a page where I can show you products that I actually purchased. Believe it or not, I didn't get any of this. It was hard. It was really, really hard to kind of shop in a brand new store. I do like that they have a space organization system. And I did get this here, right here. So let's take a look at that. I have a few blending brushes and I thought that it would be a nice thing to kind of see what it looks like. So you've got little feet that you can stick underneath. And uh, it's, it's very plain, simple. Once I put my little feet in there, let's see if I can put a brush in here. So my brushes would fit, no problem at all. And I think that uh, I'll be happy with this. I might need to get a few, but I do like it. I do like that it's white too. I have a thing with white organizational things. Let me move some of this mess out of the way. So I do like that. We've got some nice stamps, definitely beautiful stamps. There's that pinwheel again. And I know that I'm going fast. You've probably seen a few of these catalog walkthroughs by now. And I just wanted to show you what I got in my first go. What do we have here? Okay. Captivating copper. If you know me, you know that I love fall. And when I saw this paper, well, let me show you. So this is the Oxide Copper 12 by 12 sheets. Let's take a look at them. Isn't that just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous paper. And like most paper, when it's a specialty paper, it's not double-sided, but look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, so pretty. I'm very happy with this. Very, very happy with this. All right, let's move on. So again, sticking to this theme of metallic papers, I guess that's what really stuck to me. And also it was not all of the paper was available for pre-order, but this certainly was. So this is naturally gilded. All right, let's take a peek at that. Isn't that pretty? Again, nice gold paper. So you've got the gold and the beige, the white and the silver. I can see this for Christmas cards. This is gorgeous. Oh, and look at this rose gold. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm hoping that the camera is picking up on all of this shine. Super happy. I can't wait to start playing with these. And this one here, I don't even think it's in the catalog. So like I was saying before, check the online store because you've got different stuff on the online store. So this one here is the Nature Sweetness. So let's take a look at that. I don't know why I was on a kick with all of this shiny stuff, but wow. This is so pretty. The details on this is gorgeous. All 
I really should finish my wedding album. Okay, this was the page that really got to me. Look at that. You've got this beautiful print and then a splatter of gold all over it. That is just so, so pretty. Again, this for Christmas cards would be so nice. This is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous paper. You know what? They're, they just get better and better, don't you think? Oh, this is pretty too. I'm super happy with these. Take two. I got so excited by this paper that, you know what? I didn't even notice that. Oh my God. It's just as great on the back side. Take a look at this. I just assume it was one sided because it was so pretty on the golded side. But look at the back. The back is just as gorgeous. So you've got this side here. Take a look at that. Now, definitely, if you are working on a wedding album, this would be so pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that. I was so, I was happy with this being one-sided, but now that I know that it's two-sided, oh, that would make really nice, easy cards. So we've got this one here and here and if you don't mind fussy cutting you can totally use these as embellishments on a layout and again you've got this really really pretty paper so i was so so excited by just the one side but guess what it's double-sided isn't that fantastic all right let's get back to the catalog walkthrough i love this page here sticky business and I did go ahead and I did purchase this one right here. And uh, I just wanted to try it. I'm always one for trying new things. And this is a very small tip. As you can see, let me see here. This is a very small tip. So I'm going to have to try that. And there's a little needle that goes back into it. I think this is going to be a fun addition to my crafty space so i thought that i would try that out you're probably thinking you got really random things i did because again not everything was available right away and i'm going to be adding of course new things in my cart again i'm going quickly here there's some texture paste this here you've got a whole bunch of embossing folders and I did get this one here. So something I'm gonna have to get used to is the size. These I believe are six by six. They're a little bit different. Let's take a measure on these. So you've got oh, six and one eighth by six. Now, I really like this one. I really like the texture of it all. And you know what? Let's try it. Yes, I'm bringing out my close to my heart case here. And do they fit? Oh, they sure do. So that's nice. I don't have to invest too much in other type of storages because I do have quite a bit of these little cases. So they do fit in the close to my heart case. And this one here is the Exposed Brick 3D. I'm not sure again if the camera's picking up on that, but I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. I also like this fern a lot. This one here, like I like a whole bunch of them. So of course there's always room for color theory and you've got the color wheel here with all of the stamping up colors. Monochromatic, my favorite if you know me complementary analog and triadic colors and i like that they kind of show you how to work through these four types of color combination and their colors are really really great now one thing if you're coming over from close to my heart their colors are separated by families very much how we used to have our colors back in the day so here you have the subtle palette, which is more of the pastels, if you want. Here you've got the nice bright colors, the regal colors. And what do we have here? We have, these are the neutral. These here are the in colors. So these are brand new. 
And uh, my understanding is that sometimes old colors make it into the in colors. But what I do like here is that if you see the date, 2024 to 2026, I do like that they're going to stick around for more than a year. I do like that quite a bit. So right here, you've got the country wood, and it's this one right here. And of course, I couldn't pass up on that. So let's take a look at this paper pack right here. And I'm going to have to give it a little cut. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, and it's double sided. We like that. So here's the back side of this one here. We have a nice dark wood. And this one's fun. This one kind of looks like my desk, but a little lighter. Oh, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. What else do we have here? A little bit more rustic. Ooh, that with the rose gold copper. I'm telling you, tons and tons of possibilities. These are so, so pretty. Look at them all. You've got this one. This one's a gorgeous, uh, I think they're all nice. <laughs> so let me know what you think. I think that these can be mixed into pretty much anything. These are absolutely gorgeous. I'm quite happy with those. This wraps up my catalog walkthrough from my first Stamping Up catalog. And I can tell you right away that I'm going to have a few new items in my cart for May. And I'm going to start creating some really neat projects, which are going to be both cards and scrapbook layouts. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.